<clears throat> All right, I'm doing a noise investigation. Uh, the noise seems to be really bad on HF. I have the KX2 and uh, Alex Loop. Uh, I'm at uh, 7.122 um, megahertz. And uh, I'm out in my backyard and the uh, power lines run across my backyard, unfortunately. Um, and uh, for the last uh, six months or more, uh, the noise is, with any backyard antenna, I, I can practically not operate. But um, <laughs> if I turn the loop, <clears throat> Uh, looking basically up and down the line, um, I get this uh, high noise. It is uh, actually intermittent, so it's like something is arcing over. And then the null of the loop, I can basically null out uh, the noise when the loop is parallel with the line. And turn it back this way and the noise comes back of course there's a 180 degree uh, ambiguity here and uh, I guess I'll go uh, check the noise from the uh, front yard well I'm in the front yard and the noise is substantially less if if my antennas were in the front yard, <laughs> I, I would do better. Uh, this is looking um, <clears throat> at the noise uh, to the uh, uh, roughly south. Well, at least it lines up that way. On down the line to my left. Now, if I turn it around, I can basically know that, know that out. And now I bring it back around this way. Of course the noise isn't cooperating. There it is. So, uh, with Alex Loop, um, uh, it's actually, uh, the maximum is along the plane of the loop and when when you're 90 degrees to that it actually is the null so I'll turn it back to the null <laughs> all right well if I were just to take this as my sample here I would say the noise is actually on a pole uh, toward the south along the line. Although it may be from both the poles north and south. But basically, I'll take a walk here. This is uh, in the front. And I did turn off the power to my house, by the way, and it didn't stop the noise. So if I head toward the front yard, I mean the backyard, it gets more distinct. Seems to be gone right now. Here it is. Harder to get a no here.
But it's definitely worse, obviously, under the lines. Alright, I'm in the front yard and uh, uh, copying the noise. This time I'm at 14059 and I'm with a vertical uh, whip antenna on the KX2, which definitely picks up more noise. And uh, I'm going to walk toward the power lines in the back. Actually, uh, the weather is, uh, quote, dry, which <clears throat> I think actually has diminished the noise a little bit. Now we're walking toward the backyard. It's picking up. We're headed toward the power lines in the back. <laughs> now it's massive. So just from field strength, <clears throat> it's definitely uh, increased here under the lines. Kind of what you'd expect. Uh, this, believe it or not, in the past, uh, uh, at times this wasn't an issue. It kind of comes and goes, uh, but it's been st stuck for about the last six months. So I'm headed away from the lines toward the hat back of the house, the front of the house. Of course, my yard's a lot different <clears throat> uh, due to the hurricane. I <laughs> got rid of all the trees. So I would say in the front yard it's uh, a bit less, but obviously uh, still here. <laughs> uh, I have noticed something uh, with the sun uh, shining on the lines. There <laughs> looks like there's literally a splice uh, in these lines. Um, right at my backyard, which I don't have any conclusive evidence, but uh, interesting. I never noticed it before. So it's in one of the hot lines. Uh, interesting what you see. Of course, you can't see it on the GoPro. Also notice... Uh, something uh, either hanging from the line or a kind of an unraveling of the line also. So there's some interesting features that could be causing issue. All right. Bye-bye.